The principle and the most typical quality of our vision is to appreciate colors when there is enough light. We already know that if we use a prism, the white color can be divided into a whole range of rays with different wavelengths. And the way we see it, those rays are of different colors, but such perception is only seeming. We can use a diffraction creating or a prism to analyze the light from any source and determine its spectral distribution, that is, the amount of light of a certain wavelength. One ray of light may contain a big amount of blue, a little red and a tiny bit of yellow. The ratio of colors in a different ray would be different, and so on and so forth. In terms of physics, such feature would be sufficient, but we need to answer the question of what color this ray would take, how would it seem to us. It is obvious that the coloration of the ray is somehow related to the spectral distribution of light, but our task is to determine which feature of the spectral distribution influences the way we perceive this or that color. For example, how do we get the green color? We know quite well that we could just select the required part of the spectrum, but is there some other way to get green, orange, or any other color, for that matter? Could there be several spectral distributions that generate the same visual effect? And the answer is affirmative, yes. Of course there are. The most efficient psychophysical method to evaluate color response is to use our eyes as a null instrument. And we don't even have to know whether two people can get a similar color perception under similar conditions. All we need to do is to establish that two irritations causing the same sensation for one person lead to the same sensation for a different person. Experience shows that any color can be generated by mixing three different colors, or three differently colored rays of light can be can generate any other color if mixed in a required proportion. This means that any color can indeed be made by mixing any other three colors. And uh, there is no need to talk about selecting correct basic colors. In popular literature, red, green and blue are usually called the basic colors, but this is explained only by the fact that they can be used to create a wider set of basic colors.